deploying to Russia for this one. It's in Russia. Where they do things. Hello guys, uh, Napyet here. Just on a medium UFO mission in the second month of the XCOM games. Just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been watching so far. That's really nice. And giving me a few responses and some likes. I'd never really expect that with this series that I do, so when people find it... There are the aliens. I'm really appreciative and just wanted to let you know I, I do appreciate it. Let me know how you came across the series. That always helps me as I try and build the channel, do better videos. Nice to know where people came from. So let me know. Did you find it through a search? Are you already a subscriber and you're watching? Okay, so here the, the first pack is Thin Men. My lovely nemesis, Thin Men. They're very thin and they're also, well, they're not men, are they? They're aliens. Always nice when we get a little bit of Overwatch and can take them out that way. Never really expect it, though. What to do? The thing is now, if I move forward, I don't think there's any better cover. Smoke so out. just sit in smoke behind a log, I think is the best bet. Do some more with Overwatch. No, 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 no. It's not going to work. It's a shotgun. It's too far away. Nice. Hard to find places for the sniper on these. Like woods missions. Shit. <coughs> That's very lucky. I find they tend to hit on uh, thingy. I think this is a kill. In XCOM 1, I think you only get the cinematic. You get the cinematic thing 95% of the time when, when you've done a kill. And that's not true, actually. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So medium UFO, I'm not exactly sure how many aliens that means on this map. Is there three packs in a medium one? I think there might be only two. We'll soon see, anyway. I'm not going to get to the meld in time. You know, I've I've watched Let's Plays as well, and I watch people and see what they do, and they seem to have a lot of good fortune. I don't have any good fortune to rely upon. There's some floaters, great, and they all just come in and threaten to flank you. I don't think the floaters have activated though. See what we can do with this. 60% is not very good. I would like to improve that with grenadeage, maybe. See what we can do. Don't want to go forward because we're likely to trigger that pack of floaters. Could do a rocket, but that's a touch of overkill. A bit risky, but at least we can grenade him and try and improve our chances. Thought you had a tree as cover, did you? I don't want any more. Brilliant. How that has improved our situation, so now we can't see him. Welcome to XCOM. Come on. We fight the interface, we fight the game, as well as we fight the alien menace. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, that's fine, that's fine. Right. Behind logs. Everyone behind the log. So let's see what they do. Really want them to be triggered at this stage because I need this to know what they're going to do. But we could always rocket them. Be good if I got all three. Nice. Is that it now? That could be it for the medium UFO. If it is, I'm very happy with that. We kind of out out maneuvered them there, didn't we? You hear that? Bring the sniper up as fast as you can go. Anyone? Anyone? No. No meld again. 
It's a good job I uh, don't have an inferiority complex. Right. I do have an inferiority complex. Well, I can't get, I can't get enough meld. I'm not got enough meld to attract any designers of robots. Position confirmé. Position My French roboto. Right. I think the last pack is likely inside the UFO at this stage. Seems to be. So we'll just work our way in. See. Didn't hear anything that time. Don't like it when they're in the UFO because it tends to mean they... You know, they're a little bit bunched up, which is not what you want, but... Yeah, definitely inside. I think that's the outsider that I'm detecting. Yeah, so there is the something out there. The alien computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. I think I'm going to be able to do that on this mission, Miss Valen. So, oh, Mrs. Valen, I hope it's not Mrs. Inside the insider. This is the first one on the medium. It's a little bit easier, actually, on medium, because they're all in this little room here. Less chance of triggering them by accident as you approach the UFO. Kind of nice. Try and get some kills for our squaddies. Give them the opportunity. Roadway is going to cover. Just in case they miss. Not tempting fate or anything. 100% kill. We could crit it, I think. Come on, Rooksters. Heading to that location. Go in there. 92. Critical. No, you've got to critical. Let's just kill this thing. Kill confirmed. Hey, you hear Yeah, you're Oh, there you are. Welcome to the party. On cue. Couldn't ask for much more than that, really. Seekers. Everybody bunch up. Load guns, stick them in the air. Something passes in front of the nozzle of the gun. Pull the trigger, like so. Next. Wallop, wallop. I don't want to sound cocky. I never, I never should. I should remember to never sound cocky when I'm playing XCOM because that's how things start to go wrong. But I'm happy. Always happy, and that's great resources from a medium UFO, and I didn't think I would shoot that down, so that's kind of nice. The promotions seem to be going well in this run-through. Everything except, you know... More of meld. Grenadier is great. I, I tend to go for that first, and the heavies, because some extra grenades always helps. And covering fire, I always forget I've got it. So I think Sprinter is a little bit better. You can get to those injured people or scout forward. Look at all that stuff I got. Look at all that stuff. So she's the the party's starting to gel now quite nicely. I like I like They're the two stars. They train together. Roadway and Snowman. And I give her a cool helmet as well, not that one. What's this? Some kind of thing? Oh, can you imagine being transferred here straight out of XCOM training school? You'd be in your element as a as a young hot-blooded male or female. Right. So expansion in... I think we're just waiting for things at this stage. Uh, I'm not going to go for that steam generator straight away. We're going to wait for the one next to it, I think. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Nice. Beam weapons. So that's a massive jump in power at this early stage. Well, not early, but a, a decent amount of time we've got the beam weapons. We'll have them for the second terror mission, which is important. What to go for next? Everything takes a long time. I'm trying to think what will have an immediate effect. And alien materials just gives me attack vest. So I, I think experimental warfare will give me access to the foundry and also Phoenix cannon for my guys, uh, for my planes. So 
Like, I only just shot down that medium UFO, so I need the Phoenix Cannon to put on my fighters so I can bring down some more medium ones until I can get lasers for the fighters. Just kit out all the guys. Assault is definitely a upgrade, even though the shotgun is good at close range. The laser rifle, 4 to 6, 8 to 10 crit, that's 3 to 5 and 6 to 8. So Iniko has also got a pistol now, so that's nice. She's a beast with that. She's almost as good as, like, normal guy with the pistol. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. So we're going to get a few this month, the satellite. Council report. Satellite uplink complete. Very cool. Our first uplink. Really behind. So I can put one over satellite launched. the US. Stop those guys from satellite leaving. Launched. That also means I have the bonus from that continent now, Argentina, Brazil, South, South America. Immediate autopsies, I think. It's uh, pretty good. See how I did. Commander, regrettably, some of our members have decided to withdraw from this council. I know, but it's to be expected. They're all bloody cowards. Excellent work, Commander. This B. council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We it's not a stellar performance, but I mean, XCOM is supposed to be hard. It always is hard, and yeah, I, I feel like it should be a struggle and you should make mistakes, because that is the way most playthroughs go, and it's actually mo most exciting. So we've got coverage over South America and North America. We need power now to expand a little bit further. So we'll go there once, because we want the adjacency bonuses, bonuses from all my workshops where the other steam generator is. So we've got to wait for that excavation. Yeah, no point in expanding yet because that will just cost us money if we put another access lift in. So leave that for now. 25% experience, that's good. Rapid recovery. They're all good, really, but it's what you can afford, and I don't want to spend all my money there. Need to make sure I've got enough for other stuff like like this. So I've got the foundry now. That gives an adjacency bonus if it's near some workshops, which was the plan. Also gives me reaper rounds. Eh, not so good. Different kind of ammunition that hits harder, but is less accurate. Don't necessarily want that fella. But the foundry is the main thing. Some nice... Nice stuff and the Phoenix cannon. Flashbang is always useful as well. So what next? Let's get this out of the way and then we can get on to the carapace armor. What to do? So there for the foundry, I think. Begin that construction and four days so we can get our power going. And let's just kit out our interceptors. I think we've got four now. With some awesome close range rapid fire sh shit shooters they, they they shoot they shoot hard and they shoot fast you just got to see what's going to happen next really all right before i look at that abduction i'm just going to kit out those two final interceptors koto cairo uh, egypt united states south africa oh a sniper lieutenant would be kind of cool Let's just have a look what effect that will have on the panic. So if I go for Egypt to United States, South Africa. So I'm, e Egypt and South Africa are, are my starting continent. Uh, so necessarily you wouldn't wouldn't prioritize them because you're not going to lose the continent bonus. However, I'm just thinking what happens if I do go for one of them. The United States will panic, then I can put a satellite over that, which is where I want my satellites. So I might do that. And also, another sniper to pair up with Roadway is going to be very useful. Very useful. Then I'll have a, a, a strong squad. See if we can get this sniper. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Is it? Guys, let's see what's out here. Anyone? Let's stop at 7-Eleven. Uh, it's just like a drive through Right. So usually the meld is quite close here. 
the cut the the catch is that it's a very small map where it's very easy to run into all of the enemies so I can't run forward to get it but trying mm, whether to try and get in range there it's always close isn't it like it's always always very tempting to try and get that meld but it's just meld it doesn't make a huge amount of difference it's going to be a while till I've got the genetic stuff and I don't know you even know if I want another mech Solid copy. I've got a visual. yeah so glad I didn't run forward there we'll just stay so they can't see them we could take a shot with roadway and see if we can take at least one of them out can't reach him with the bloody rockets never mind so I think I'll move her back and just create an overwatch trap with a little bit of smoke for good measure and let them roll into us see how many we can take out Perfect. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Boom. So her, her shots can crit now, if if we're lucky, but we weren't on that occasion. What are you doing? And your mate. Oh my god. Go on, take a shot. That's great. That's a good place for them to be, actually. We can take this. Oh, have we got it? No. We could get them with the rocket now, though. I don't think we can get all three. We can definitely get two, though. I don't want to shoot. Uh, you know, they're gonna. This is gonna cost a lot of money for the owners of this garage. I feel a bit guilty. 62, 82, 62, 82. Walla, shredger. <laughs> Come on, I purchased this. Yeah, it's a good job I purchased that. One. Laser pistol, laser, laser rifles. What are they going to do? Sneakers? Why do I always call them sneakers? I'm going to call them that from now on. Sneakers. Yeah, they're sneakers. According to Dibs. Oh, come on. Wallop. Oh, no. Save her. Dramatic shot. <laughs> Mm -mm. Flipping heck. Thinmans. Be good if we could kill him before we have to deal with the Thinman. Oh, wow. Mind you, only one hit there out of the whole squad. My god. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, they're not thin. I thought they were thin men. I am such an idiot. Wallop! That's some good Overwatch, is that? And there to finish you off. <laughs> I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit um, special with. Uh, I'm not special at all, but it's nice when you when something goes well, isn't it? Got it covered. Hide. There you go. Flank. I can't give you any more benefits. So that's a little bit quirky, isn't it? Like she's got a flank because she's near the bin, but you haven't because it's really odd. Ah, damn it. And that's why we bring snipers with us. When everything else fails. Is that it? No, apparently not. Oh, so they were... Maybe they were thin men there. Oh, God, I hope he wasn't asleep in his cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back on that. We're ready for these guys. We were about as ready as we'd ever be. Let's get some overwatch. Uh, well, you are a rookie. If I go up towards him, he's, he could potentially flank me, so... Overwatch traps are very useful. So get everyone within Snowman's kind of defensive aura. <laughs> defensive aura, doesn't that sound stupid? So even though they're in half cover, they have got some defense there. 
Hopefully he won't survive the overwatch if he comes forward. Right. I think so. that's about as good as we're going to get it. Alright, come forward, dude. Don't think you're going to survive this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four. Anyone? Anyone else? Someone else take a shot. Come on. Oh, looked like I missed that. Good work, Commander. Right, that was good. That was a good mission. I am happy with that. You get a little bit of a power bump when you get the laser rifles, and then you kind of because they outmatch the thin men and sectoids who were so deadly before. Low cover, low profile makes half cover, full cover, which is very useful. And tactical sense, I an aggression. I prefer tactical sense, defensive bonus. I, you know, if I get her into a situation where she's surrounded by five people, then I've made a mistake. So I shouldn't be doing that. In, that's how I think about the other option there. And I've got another sniper, which is very always welcome. Yeah, so Egypt and South Africa have gone up in terms of panic, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Even if I lose them, I don't want to lose any more because I could lose the game if I lose any more countries I'm projected to lose Echo for my sniper I kind of like that name actually just thinking who to give the defenders medal let's give it to Roadway she definitely deserves it I know I've been giving it to my supports but I really want to keep her alive now yeah South Africa panicking so here come all the satellite satellites are up I've got to keep an eye on on the need for more satellites can't get complacent got to look at the 21st and make sure i get stuff up at that point so i think we can get our power situation going now and get that thermal generator going which is awesome i do like the thermals yeah 200 very expensive but it means i don't have to worry about power for a while alien materials done Nanofiber vest, you have to sacrifice a grenade to wear it uh, until you get tactical rigging from the foundry. You can use two items. So it's between carapace and precision lasers for me. I think carapace is the better option because the armor, everyone can wear the armor. Precision lasers is just a rifle for the sniper. So it just helps one person. I know they're awesome, but I'd rather spread the love around the entire crew if possible. Okay, so how many uplinks do I potentially need? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six uh, potential satellites. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I only need one more because I've lost so many countries. Online. Cool. I don't think I can. Can't afford anything from the foundry yet, but your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. We are oh, site recon is interesting. With this is a special mission, I think, that came in with Enemy Within, where you have to go to a fishing village in Canada and see who's killed all the residents. It's an interesting one. It's a static mission that never changes, so I know what to expect, but you never know. Things can go wrong. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Like and share, like and share. Oh, I'm off. No, no, no. No, no.